Garcia's uncle is telling ABC7 the family is trying to get a lawyer to get him out of jail. And as we just told you, he has a previous record of drunk driving. Court documents showing that he is due back in court in February, again for a DWI charge, from April. And he has a juvenile drinking conviction from 2010. But is enough being actually done to stop first-time offenders? ABC 7's Andrew J. Polk is live tonight in our newsroom with that side of the story. Andrew. Yeah, good evening, Bob. Many advocates and elected officials calls DWI an entirely preventable crime. There are legal deterrents and minimum penalties in place to help decrease drunk driving. El Paso District Attorney Jaime Esparza talked about some on ABC 7 Extra back in August. You will go to jail. You will spend time in jail as a result of your drinking and driving. Strong words from the DA, who later admitted that there are ways around the minimum jail sentences for DWI convictions. A pretrial diversion. Some people qualify if they're first offenders. They have. They don't have a record. Uh, they blew. They, they they gave us a sample of their breath. It's below 0.15, and a few other. There's no accident. You could be eligible for pretrial diversion. Pretrial diversion is designed for first-time misdemeanor offenders. This also means a DWI conviction will because not go on their records if they complete now, certain requirements. Advocates and local law enforcement have been pushing for harsher enforcement of DWIs, things like the Out for Blood campaign and no refusal blood alcohol testing. But members of El Paso's state delegation say that Texas lags behind other states when it comes to making the penalties stick. State Rep. Joe Moody tells ABC7 several proposals are on the table. Moody is hopeful change could come during the upcoming legislative session. I think every community, and you know, you see tragedies like like we do here in our community, and we've seen obviously recently. Um, you know, that, those are happening all across the state, and and they're preventable. And so I think there is a lot of political will to uh, to try and and ferret out this crime because, like I said before, this crime is one that is 100% preventable if we take the right measures. I also spoke with other members of El Paso's state delegation. Rep. Mary Gonzalez said that it was difficult to come up with concrete solutions in the legislature, while Senator Jose Rodriguez says that there were several promising pieces of legislation coming up during the next session, including mandatory ignition breathalyzers installed in vehicles even on a first DWI conviction. Bob. All right, Andrew, just such a sad story at this Christmas Eve. Thanks so much for that report. And again, if you want to chime in on the discussion, you can find it happening right now on our Facebook page and more of your comments tonight on ABC 7 at 9.